Hi everyone, I'm Scott, one of the engineers here at Patch My PC. Today, we're going to look at our new custom apps feature. Custom apps will let you upload your own applications to our new web portal. Once uploaded, you'll be able to use all the same functionality you're already familiar with within Patch My PC's publisher to customize those applications and then publish them into Config Manager and Intune. So let's take a look at that now. The first thing that we'll want to do is register at portal.patchmypc.com. Here we can see the new landing page where you'll be asked to either sign in or sign up. So let's sign up now. Let me log in with my demo Microsoft account. It will be prompted for some permissions. These permissions are view your basic profile. This just lets us know who you are and what tenant we need to direct you to and for authentication. And then maintain access to the data you've given us access to. This is just so that we can refresh your sign in token to give you the best experience possible. I'll click accept. And that will create an enterprise application within your tenant. You'll then be asked for some company information. You'll be prompted to select where your data will be stored. This is your custom apps data. Will it be in the US or will it be in the EU? I'll select the EU because that's where I am. Company name, I'll say Scott's Demo Company. And country, I'll select United Kingdom. I'll click continue. You'll be asked for your name. Now it's going to pull this from your profile, but I'm going to change mine to be my actual name and click accept the terms and conditions and then continue. And that's us registered within portal.patchmypc.com. The next step is to connect the portal to the publisher. So let's take a look at that. If we switch to the Patch My PC publisher, you'll see a cloud tab on the top right hand corner. You'll be asked for a connection name. This is just a friendly name so that you know what the connection is for. So I'll just say Scott's demo company again. And then you want to click connect. You'll be asked to sign in again. So we'll sign in with the same account we registered on portal.patchmypc.com with. And click sign in. This will connect your Patch My PC publisher to portal.patchmypc.com. And you can see in the background that the portal refreshed because it detected that connection. Once that connection is created, we can start to add custom applications. The process of adding a custom app is very straightforward. We'll click add app in the top right hand corner which will give us the upload application wizard. Here, you'll be prompted for a primary install file, which I have here. We'll upload that file. We'll calculate the hash of that file, and then we'll click next. We'll pull as much information from the file as possible. So you'll see the application name here, the vendor. We'll upload an icon and we'll paste in a description of this application. We can now click create because we have all the necessary information, but for now we'll click next and you'll see the configuration options. You'll see the install context, which is system or user, the architecture, which is 64-bit or 32-bit. From the file, we've pulled the version number, the language, the apps and features name, the silent install parameters, and the product code. The only thing you may want to fill out is the conflicting processes. These are used with the manage conflicting processes option within Patch My PC's publisher. We'll click next and you'll get an overview of everything you've submit so far. You click create and you'll see that application being created within the app catalog. And that's it created. 
Now, if we switch back to the publisher, when we look under Config Manager Apps, we'll see all custom products, and we'll see the product that we just created within portal.patchmypc.com. You'll see this under Config Manager Apps, Intune Apps, and Intune Updates. Once you have your custom product in the publisher, you can configure it and customize it the same way you would any application managed by Patch My PC. All of the options are exactly the same. Once you've added the first version of your application, you'll likely want to update the application when a new version is released. To do so, you select the existing version and click add version. This will take you to an add version wizard where you'll be able to select the latest primary install file. We'll re-upload that file, calculate the hash of that file, and then we'll click next. It'll take you to the configuration page where you can change the version number, the apps and features name if you have to, change the conflicting processes, install parameters or product code if you have to, but again, we'll calculate this information for you as best possible. The overview page where you can check all of that information, and then you click save, and that uploads that latest version to the custom apps portal, and you'll see that uploading here. That's everything for custom apps today. As always, everything that we've looked at today will be covered in our documentation as well. And if you require support for custom apps, you're welcome to contact PatchMyPC support the same way you're already familiar with. Thank you.